Hello everybody. In this video I will show you a spherical magnet array that you can see here. So this is basically three rings with magnets stacked together to a sphere. And let me take it apart so you can get a better idea of what you're seeing here. So this is one of the rings. And we have the second ring and the third ring. And with this spherical array that you see here, I have arranged the poles so that it is north, south, north, south, north, south. So there's alternating poles what you see and viewed under the magnetic viewing film. This gives you an image like this. So this is what just one of these rings looks under the magnetic viewing film like this and viewed from the side if I rotate it see the single poles the other side looks the same and with this one it looks like this of course two of the magnets are missing and with this it looks like this so there are only four magnets on this but the empty spaces that you see here of course get filled up by these two when I stack them together. So yeah, basically I just stack them like this and then the third one on it and we get a really nice spherical magnet array. And I show you this under the magnetic viewing film. Now I've arranged it the wrong way. Let me adjust it. So north and south pole are alternating and of course you have to align them correctly so that we have here north inward and south inward and not too north and too south together. So I think it is correct like this and viewed under the film it gives us a very beautiful image. And this looks the same from all sides. I will show you like this so you can see the magnet array itself when I turn it. And we have basically an eight pole magnet array. So this is dividable by two. And on the on this sections we always have three magnets together. So basically we get out of an eight pole magnet array a trifold pattern which is very interesting and this of course looks the same from all sides viewed <coughs> and yeah you can basically get a bit of an idea of how the field of this magnet array um, forms and looks like so we have where you have the, the poles with the white circles around this would be the poles facing outwards and in the center would be the opposite pole. Um, it's like wrapped out from the inside out. So it's all forced on the inside and gets out on these, let's say, windows. And yeah, I have made three of these um, arrays. So in different sizes. I've made here uh, the smallest possible one. We get the camera focused. I don't know if it wants to focus. Yeah, I will show it a bit further away. So this is the smallest possible array you can achieve with this five millimeter cube magnets. And this is also the strongest one, of course, because the magnets are closest to each other. And I've also made a bigger one like this. And with this magnet array, for example, I have oriented the magnets differently. So they're all facing the same way. So they're all facing south pole inwards. No alternating here. And this gives us a kind of a similar field but it's, it looks a bit different. 
not only because its size is bigger, that's obvious that it looks a bit different because of this, but the geometry is also different. If you notice it, every pole has a white ring around it. This is because, yeah, every pole you see on here is facing the same direction. I will show you the array like this, so get a better idea of what I'm showing you. So you can see the array when it's moving. So this is basically the window. And yeah, what you see in the center is basically the other the inverse pole. If you see on here, we have, uh, for example, north pole facing outwards. And then in the center here would be south pole pushed outwards because it's forced inwards like this. And all of these are forced inwards. And yeah, of course, it will be forced outward a bit and it gives you a very interesting pattern like this. The same also goes for the smaller one. If I take this and put it under the magnetic viewing film, you will see a pattern like this. It looks the same like on the big one, but yeah, of course, just a bit smaller. And of course, uniform on all sides. It looks the same on all sides. You view it from here, you can see the magnet when I rotate it a bit. And yeah, now I will talk a bit about the special properties of these magnet arrays. So I have shown you in an earlier video a kind of anti-gravity device with just a single Halbach array, a circular Halbach array, just like if I take this one apart, just a ring Halbach array um, with a parabolic copper sheet on top. And yeah, if you move like this, you will feel a certain repulsion. And yeah, what I've noticed with a normal um, Halbach array or an array like this, where it's not um, arranged in a Halbach pattern, you can very slightly, if you move it in a, yeah, in a certain angle or vector against, let's say, gravity, you will feel a certain anti-gravity effect with the circular Halbach arrays or, yeah, circular magnet arrays, call it like this. And the same goes for these spherical arrays, but the effect is a bit different and also um, sometimes a bit stronger and yeah basically what you can do to kind of feel the effects a bit is I take this one and if you could imagine right at the center would be a pivot point where it is fixed and then you take it and rotate it right around its center point like this and if you do this you will feel uh, yeah, kind of strange effect because you will feel in certain directions um, there is a counter momentum or a force where you have to push against and in other directions it will get pulled in this direction so there is like an attraction and yeah I think this is because of Earth's magnetic field and this magnet who wants to align with it but because the field strength is very strong and focused to the center and like all poles are facing outwards but in an equally spaced pattern you can feel this quite strong. You can feel it the strongest with these small ones because obviously the field strength is the uh, strongest but yeah you can also feel it with the larger ones but from my experience, it's not that strong, but you can feel it easier because it's, um, the magnets are spaced further outwards and yet the whole field is spatially a bit bigger, but not that strong, of course. So for first time users, I would recommend the big one or the medium sized one um, to just experience the effect itself. And of course, if you move it um, yeah like the anti-gravity toy a bit 
like this in a pattern like this so downwards and also rotating in a bit it's, it's kind of like yeah uh, what do we call it like a, a more of a round movement not just straight down you can also slightly feel it but down and also to the side a bit and then you feel or just if you rotate it you can also feel the counter momentum if you hold this in your hand first hand <laughs> you will know what i mean when i tell you this because yeah you can easily feel strange effects that you haven't felt with other objects that you had before it feels sometimes depending on the angle you hold it or move it if you hold it still you feel nothing of course and yeah but if you move it in any direction you feel strange effects like what i'm doing here now is i'm following the natural pattern it wants to move itself if you know maybe the experiment with a flywheel that is attached to a handle and if the flywheel is rotating you can pick it up and yeah lift it up very easily if you move it along a circular pattern it wants naturally to it wants to go naturally and yeah this is kind of the same with these arrays because the magnetic field itself is rotating and it has of course a momentum like a flywheel that is spinning and if you just do this and rotate it around its axis this is called gyromagnetic precession and yeah you can feel this if you just um, rotate it around its fixed point in the center or if you just move it in any direction like this but like i said with this one it's not so easy that to feel but if you feel it or if you get the right movements you will feel it the strongest with this one it's easier to feel and i can also put the small one into the bigger one like this so i've printed them to a size where these two fit in together just because i was curious what would happen if i do this and what arrays um, give us what effect and with a pattern like this where they're all fa all magnets are facing the same direction you get yeah basically something like this so the middle one is stuck in there it really doesn't want to move unless you force it to obviously because the magnets are attractive to each other and yeah there is no i haven't found a particular use for this but i just wanted to try and see what happens in different arrangements and speaking of different arrangements i of course have also tried different arrangements so i've made halberg arrays circular ones like shown in earlier videos of mine of course also with these ones and yeah if you take these um, spherical halberg arrays you don't get a uniform feel meaning that it doesn't look the same from all sides but of course the strongest field strength but yeah in my case i wanted to have a uniform feel as you could see on the magnetic viewing film it looks the same from each side and of course you can experiment with these arrays and place the magnets in whatever directions you want to place them and see what effects you get from it and i will also upload the 3d printing files and link it in the video description so you can print out these array holders very easy for yourself and yeah if you don't have a printer ask someone to print it for you or there are online services where you can let print out something for you and yet yeah, these magnets are just five millimeter cube magnets make sure you get the strongest possible field strength or, or i don't know what to call it 
the strongest possible magnets you can get. These are N52 grade and they're also N50 or N45 or N42. I've tried this with N45, they also work, but from my experience, the stronger the magnet or the higher the grade, the better. The more obvious you can feel the effects from it. And yeah, I think this is basically it for this video. I hope I didn't forget anything to show you. If I did so, ask, ask in the comments. And yeah, that's it. So enjoy printing these devices. Feel it yourself in your hand, what I'm talking about before you call me crazy and have a nice day and goodbye.